human brain the most complicated structure so far this human brain along with the spinal cord together is known as the central nervous system so you have the brain and the spinal cord together we call this as what as the central nervous system from the central nervous system you have nerves that is spread across the body moving till the peripherals so till the edge of the fingers you would have the nerves that would come and this whole connection from the brain and the spinal cord to the tip of the finger would be what would be called as the peripheral nervous system so central nervous system connects the peripheral nervous system this peripheral nervous system can be of two types somatic or autonomic somatic is voluntary if i don't want my hand will not move so that's what is voluntary that's totally under my control on the other hand a heart beating is involuntary and that's a autonomic uh, movement that occurs so you have a somatic or a voluntary movement that's part of your peripheral nervous system or a autonomic and involuntary movement that's again part of your uh, peripheral nervous system this autonomic movement can again be of two types the first is the sympathetic nervous system uh, the sympathetic system is basically a system where you have intense energy functions that are seen so fight or flight response so either you fight with the situation or you move to or you wish to fly away from the situation so fight or flight response is what is sympathetic on the other hand you have parasympathetic that is rest and digest you want to relax and all the energy functions basically are inhibited uh, inhibited during that time so that's what is sympathetic and parasympathetic both of those are part of your autonomic nervous system autonomic is a further subdivision of your peripheral nervous system i believe everything is clear so far